Welcome to CIE Math Solutions. In this video, we will discover the fastest way of finding the general rule for a given arithmetic sequence. Welcome to another video of CIE Math Solutions. In the previous videos, we have discussed the basic concepts of finding the rule for the n term of a given arithmetic sequence. We have also discussed the basic concepts of arithmetic sequence or progression. Further, we have also derived the formula for the n term of an arithmetic sequence. The playlist containing these videos together with other related videos can be found on the link above this video or on the description below. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon for you to be notified when new videos are uploaded. If you have already subscribed, please watch, like and share the videos of the channel. In this video, we will discover the fastest way to find the general rule for the n term of a given arithmetic sequence. We will also use the formula a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d to verify the answer. But before we proceed, let us recall the basic concepts of arithmetic sequence or progression. Let us consider the sequence 31, 34, and 37. 31, 34, and 37 are called the terms of the sequence, and usually they are denoted as a n. In this case, a1 means it's the first term, that is equal to 31. a2 is the second term, which is 34. And a3 is the third term, which is 37. An arithmetic sequence also has a common difference denoted by d. In this case, we can find the common difference by subtracting two consecutive terms of the sequence. d then is equal to 37 minus 34 or 34 minus 31 which is equal to 3. The common difference then of this sequence is equal to 3. Now let us find the general rule for the nth term of any given arithmetic sequence or progression using the formula a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d. If you are interested in the derivation of this formula, you may click on the link above this video or on the description below. In this formula, a n is the nth term a1 is the first term, n is the rank or order of the term, and d is the common difference. Using this formula to find the general term of the sequence containing 31, 34, and 37, we note that a1 is equal to 31, and the common difference is 3. We can subtract two consecutive terms, 34 minus 31 is 3, or 37 minus 34 is 3. Using the formula then, a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d, substituting the value of a1 and d, we will have then 31 plus n minus 1 times 3. To simplify this further, we will multiply 3 to each of the terms of n minus 1. 3 times n is 3n, 3 times negative 1 is minus 3. Further, to simplify this equation, we will then have 3n and 31 minus 3 combined, that will give us 28. The general rule then for the nth term of this sequence is a n equals 3n plus 28. Now let us try the shortest way or the shortcut way in finding the general rule of this sequence. Again, 31 is the first term, 
and the common difference is 3. Now this time, let us subtract the first term and the common difference. A1 minus D will be 31 minus 3, which will give us 28. The general term then for this sequence, the common difference, which is equal to 3, multiplied to n, that will give us 3n. And we will be adding the difference of the first term and the common difference, which is 28. That will be plus 28. The general rule then for this sequence is a n equals 3n plus 28. This confirms our answer using the formula and our answer using this shortcut method are the same. If you are wondering where did this shortcut come from, it actually came from the formula itself, a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d. Looking back at the formula, a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d. If we simplify and multiply the common difference to each of the terms of n minus 1, we will then have d times n, which is d n, d times 1, which will be d. Rearranging the terms, we will have then dn as the first term and a1 minus d as the second term. This is then our shortcut method. If we get the common difference, which is d, just multiply it with n. Then, subtract the first term and the common difference. That will be the constant of the general rule. Now it's your turn. Find the general rule for the n term of an arithmetic sequence with the following terms 2, 9, 16, negative 1, negative 9, negative 17, negative 17, negative 32, and negative 47. If you would like to answer the items, please pause the video for a while, then press play when you are done. Try to answer the items as fast as you could. Go! Now let us check your answers. For the first sequence containing the terms 2, 9, and 16, if your answer is a n equals 7 and minus 5, then you are correct. Now let us see the calculations. Our first term is 2, the common difference is equal to 7. If we subtract the first term and the common difference, that will be a1 minus d, which is 2 minus 7, that will give us minus 5. The general rule then for this sequence will be 7 multiplied to n and the difference between the first term and the common difference which is minus 5. a n is equal to 7 n minus 5. Now let us verify this answer using the formula. Our first term is 2 and the common difference is 7. Using the formula a1 plus n minus 1 times d, we will have then 2 plus n minus 1 times 7. Multiplying 7 to each term of n minus 1, that will give us 7 times n, that equals 7n, 7 times negative 1, that will be negative 7. Combining like terms, our general rule then will be 7n, 2 minus 7 will be negative 5. So a n is equal to 7 n minus 5. For the second sequence containing negative 1, negative 9, and negative 17, if your answer is a n equals negative 8 n plus 7, then you are correct. Let us see the calculations. a 1 is equal to negative 1. The common difference is negative 8. a 1 minus d then will be negative 1 minus negative 8 which will give us positive 7. Therefore, a n now is negative 8 multiplied to n plus 7. Again, let us verify this answer using the formula. We know that a1 is equal to negative 1 and the common difference is negative 8. Using the formula then, we can substitute negative 1 plus n minus 1 times negative 8. Simplifying this, this will give us negative 1 plus negative 8 times n is negative 8n. Negative 8 times negative 1 is positive 8. Combining like terms, that will give us negative 8n. And negative 1 plus 8 will be positive 7. 
So an is equal to negative 8n plus 7. For the third term, containing the terms negative 17, negative 32, and negative 47, a1 is negative 17, the common difference is negative 15. Subtracting the first term and the common difference, a1 minus d will be negative 17 minus negative 15, which will give us negative 2. Our general rule then will be negative 15 multiplied to n, then minus 2. Let us also verify this using the formula. So a1 is negative 17 and d is negative 15. Substituting these values on the formula, we will have the negative 17 plus n minus 1 times negative 15. Multiplying negative 15 to each of the terms, negative 15 times n is negative 15n, negative 15 times negative 1 is positive 15. If we combine like terms then, this will become negative 15n and negative 17 plus 15 that will give us minus 2. Again, the answers of these sequences for the first one, containing 2, 9, and 16, the general rule is an equals 7n minus 5. For the second one, an is equal to negative 8n plus 7. For the third one, an is equal to negative 15n minus 2. If you got all the answers correct, then congratulations! You now know how to find the rule for the nth term of a given arithmetic sequence the fastest way. To summarize what we have learned today, to find the general formula for the nth term of a given arithmetic sequence, multiply the common difference to n and add the difference of the first term and the common difference. That is, an is equal to dn plus a1 minus d. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on math proofs and derivations, math tutorial videos, solve items from international exams, math tricks and puzzles, math resources and more, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for your continued support to CIE Math Solutions.